this year, about 9 million people will contract tuberculosis, mostly in developing countries. The only infectious disease that kills more people is HIV AIDS. And it gets worse. Multidrug resistant TB has emerged, which is more deadly and can't be cured by standard antibiotics. And in parts of Asia, up to 25% of new cases are actually multidrug resistant. And that means that you need to use expensive second line antibiotics. The cost of treating each of these patients is about $5,000. In India, that's more than two years average salary, a huge obstacle to treatment. Our goal is to dramatically reduce the cost of the anti-TB drug by completely changing the way they are produced. Currently, antibiotics are extracted from bacteria called streptomyces that naturally produce these molecules. This is not the most efficient way to produce these antibiotics and it adds to the price. We propose to use something more efficient, which is yeast. Our expertise lies in teaching yeast new tricks. We have the molecular biology tools to take the pathway for antibiotic production from streptomyces and put it into yeast, which will give us a much cheaper way to produce these vital drugs. Our first target will be capriamycin, one of the expensive anti-TB antibiotics. Once we have developed a process for capriamycin, we will take on other tuberculosis drugs. Ultimately, we will work with groups like Tuberculosis Alliance in India and make this technology freely available through open access. Our goal is to lower the cost of the drugs and help more people obtain the proper treatment.